People tell me all the time that they think that Power Automate is either too complicated or that their business challenge doesn't really require the use of such a complex tool. But then they'll go on to ask me a question that can easily be solved using some very simple Power Automate flows. So today I'm going to show you three quick flows that can save you a lot of time. We are here on the Power Automate homepage and we're going to navigate to the template section. One of the most frequently asked questions I get is, how do I save my Outlook attachments to OneDrive automatically so that I don't have to move them manually? Now you'll notice that there are a couple of different choices here. You have saveoutlook.com to your OneDrive, or you have save Office 365 email attachments to OneDrive for business. Make sure to select the template that corresponds to the type of email account you are using. On the next page, you will see a brief description of what the flow will do, and then Power Automate is going to verify that you have a valid connection. From there, all you need to do is select Create Flow. Power Automate is going to automatically set up all the building blocks for this flow in the background, and then give you a completed flow page. A folder was automatically created in your OneDrive called Email Attachments from Power Automate. As you become more familiar with Power Automate, you can always click Edit to go in and change any of the steps for the flow, or even just take a look at how it was built. As you can see, it only takes a couple of minutes to set up this flow, but it can be a huge time saver. Now we're going to take a look at the second time saving flow. The question that I frequently get is, how do I set up an email that automatically goes out at a specified date and time? Well, we're gonna do that using a reoccurrence trigger. With a scheduled cloud flow, you can pick the date and time that it should run the first time. So here I'm going to say that I actually want mine to run at 9 a.m. And then I can say, how often should it repeat? In this example, I want to send out a reminder once a week. By default, all of the days are selected, so I am going to deselect everything except Friday and all I have to do is click Create. Now I have my reoccurrence trigger, which I can edit if necessary, but the preview tells me that it's going to run on Friday of every week, and that's enough for now. In this example, I want to send an email every week, so I'm going to search for Outlook as the action. You can choose any action that makes sense to you that you want to happen on a scheduled time. Now that I found the send an email v2, I can specify a person or a group, and in this case, I'm just going to select a group. The subject and the body are required, so I will fill in that information. You can put in anything that makes sense to you, but for this demonstration, I'm going to keep it simple. Now all you have to do is click save and we have our second simple flow that sends a reminder email every Friday at 9 a.m. to the Power Automate Demos group to say, please remember to submit your reports. The last quick flow I'm going to show you is how to mirror one calendar to another. This is useful when you're managing multiple calendars and you want your subordinate calendars to roll up to a master calendar. And I'm going to use when there is a new event in an Office 365 group. From this trigger, I'm going to select the group where I create my events. And then I'm going to select new step. I'm going to search for the group connector as my action as well. And then what I'm going to do is select create a group event. Now for the group ID, I'm going to pick my master calendar that tracks all of the subordinate events. From there, I can use dynamic content to have the exact same subject, start time, and end time. Under advanced options, I can even copy in the body of the message from the original calendar event. And after that, all I have to do is click save. Now, instead of going to multiple calendars to see what my team is working on, I can just check the master calendar. And there you go. In under five minutes, we've gone over three quick flows that will reduce the amount of time you spend on repetitive tasks. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.